Hello EA friends and family. I'm Dennis Dunbar. I'm the director of AirVenture Air Show Operations for EAA in beautiful Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And I am joined here today with David Martin, an air show legend, a legend in the aviation world in general. And uh, we're going to talk to David about some of the cool things he's doing at Oshkosh this year. Probably wondering why we're standing in front of this barren. And I want to <laughs> let him explain that. <laughs> but uh, first, David, tell us, tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into air shows and what you've been doing? Well, uh, I got into air shows through air competition, actually, competition aerobatics. And uh, I've been flying, I, I think I first flew at Oshkosh like in about 2000. And it was mostly, you know, they brought the U.S. team to Oshkosh and we all flew. Kirby, Mike, and I, you know, we were all the, they called us Various back then. We weren't, they didn't <laughs> use our names. Various is flying today. But <laughs> uh, I really started flying air, air shows in a Bonanza uh, in 1991. I got my first aerobatic card in a Bonanza. I, we have an aerobatic Bonanza, which is my wife's. And I flew it in air shows to start with. I haven't flown a lot in air shows recently because I've been flying the, the other airplanes. But uh, I saw this Baron fly in an air show the first time in uh, 1977 when I was in high school and it was an old friend of the family's and uh, you know I always thought man that was really cool something different everybody seems to like something different you know everybody's tired of us doing the same old thing so uh, I, he he was a living legend a World War II vet a Korean vet fighter pilot movie flyer he's you know he was really a living legend but um, when he passed away I bought his airplane which really hadn't been flown in air shows since about the mid 90s I guess because he had, you know, just aged and didn't do air shows anymore. So the Baron Act is kind of like a Bonanza Act, except we can do some engine out stuff. I always kind of wanted to do that in the Bonanza. Effect. At one time, I bought a feathering prop for the Bonanza where I could do some engine out stuff. Because I think people like the engine out. Non-pilots think it's magic if their plane's flying around without the engine on, which is really, you know, <laughs> it's like riders too. It's not that big a deal. Well, and the pilots, <laughs> you know, our crowd is a lot of aviators. Yeah. Here, and we appreciate what that takes to do that. In that yeah, it's something so, different. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's really the reason I'm flying it is kind of a, uh, because of my friend who flew it. You know, we talk about him a little bit because he, he really was a very special man. And uh, and then I just something different to fly as a Baron. And, uh, well, and let me jump in. Something different is really appealing to me in this. You know, um, you fly an aerobatic plane, and we have a lot of aerobatic acts in the business, but a couple of years ago, uh, you fly a Booker also. Yeah. And... Um, we asked if you could bring the Booker to AirVenture, and for the last two years, you've flown that, and that's been a treat. People, we've had a lot of feedback from mm -hmm. our members saying that was really wonderful to see, but still looking for something different. The mm -hmm. fact that you have this variety of acts that you can do, really, I mean, to me, it's great. I think our members are going to really appreciate seeing this Baron flying the aerobatics yeah. that you're going to put on the show. I, I think they'll like it. Um, you know, I like doing different stuff. I'm, I'm kind of into aerobatic history. So, you know, if I could go back, I'd fly every airplane there was, you know, especially the great ones that back in history, you know, Waco type of wings and stuff like that. In fact, I still might do that someday. But uh, that's kind of kind of part of it. I'm into the history of aerobatics. And, and then I like flying different airplanes. And I'm kind of an airplane nut, you might say. <laughs> he's, he's a humble airplane nut. When he says he likes flying various airplanes, I mean, I don't know the numbers, but just in conversations with you, I mean, the types of airplanes that you mm -hmm. have flown just blows my mind. So well, I, I just like to fly everything. I like everything that flies, you know. From the World War One aircraft we were yeah. just talking about to flying F-16s in the military to what you're seeing in the air shows. Um, yeah, it just, uh, I like flying everything and, and any kind of air show airplane I like. Yeah. And uh, I like all the air show pilots. I like watching everybody else fly, all the different stuff. You know, I, th I think I went, I first went to Oshkosh and it was about 79 and back then they, you sit in a different spot. You kind of just sit out there by the runway, the air show performers, the airplanes were parked out just by the taxiway. Yep. And you'd sit out there with all the guys, the you know. Arch, right? Yeah. Where is, yeah. And, uh, and Dwayne Cole was my instructor. I took instruction with him like right after high school. So he'd get me out there on the line with all the guys, you know, and I sat out there with, you know, all the famous guys and, and BS with them. And, you know, they were my heroes. Charlie Hillard was Leo Lonslager. Uh, Dwayne, Marion Cole, uh, Bob Lijak, just all those guys were my heroes. And uh, it was so neat for me to do that. And I always wanted to do it, you know, and, and I really wanted to do it back then in 1977. But, you know, it well, takes time. You know, you can't always get things immediately. 
So, <laughs> well, you're one of the like, ones that are saying in this business as we kind of grow up into it that our heroes become our friends. Right. That's and you true. become an Oshkosh in 79, you say, What's your best Oshkosh story? <laughs> I got a really good one if you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a we're, flying we're story. We're on this broadcast here, so feel so free. So the first yeah. year I went to Oshkosh, I w me and a friend of mine were supposed to, it was the first year the Eagles were flying in the Eagles. Oh, that would have been it, awesome. And, and we were supposed to ferry them up there. Well, at the last minute, Charlie and Tom and Paul said, no, we're going to fly them up there ourselves. But you go, go ahead and come up there and hang out. So we came out there, me and a friend of mine, Paul Donner, and camped out. And so we hung out with them every night. And we were camping out. So one night we went to dinner with them, the whole group. And, and the funny thing, Tom's over there asleep at dinner the whole time. You know, he's obviously they totally worn out. Yeah. yeah. But you know, Tom was kind of, to me up until then was a low key guy. So it's time for us to go home after dinner. And Tom's like, I'll take you back to the airplane in his little Volkswagen. He said, Can I, you mind if we uh, swing through the camping area? I need to check something. And I was like, no, I'm just long for the ride. And uh, so we go through the camp in here, and I don't know if he knew something was going on in there or not, but he, he goes by these guys, and I don't remember what they said, but they said something to him, you know, like, bad. And we're, we're rolling, and he jumps out of the Volkswagen while it's still rolling and runs up to these three big guys. And you know, he's not a very big guy, and he's like, what did you say to me, son? And, and I was standing behind him, like, oh, what am I going to do? I mean, I'm going to have to help defend him from these guys. <laughs> No, I, I got a whole new perspective of Tom Pobras. <laughs> and then we, he took me back, and that was the end of that. Well, that sounds funny. <laughs> you know, the funny, when I asked a lot of people what's your favorite Oshkosh story, you know, they come for the airplanes, they come back for the people, and the yeah. stories tend to always migrate back towards the people. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I would say my best stories are sitting out on that grass with all those guys. You know, I remember Deke Slayton was there, astronaut, one of the original nine astronauts flying NASA T-38 that year, you know, and... It's just like, it would be like other kids going and sitting with the NFL team or something. You know, it's just, it was really special. It's those moments, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, like, let me say one thing. I don't want your average Baron guy to go out and do aerobatics. Let's sure. get that clear. Sure, sure. <laughs> I need to make that perfectly clear, and, I, and uh, that's in my announcing. I mean, the Baron is stressed to 4.4 Gs, which is plenty strong if you know what you're doing. And I've been flying Bonanzas and aerobatics for... 40 years and I know you know what it takes but you can't overstress it you can't do more than it's limited to and uh, I have two G meters in there not just one but two because I want to be sure you know I got a pretty good feel seat in my pants after all these years but you know I want to be sure I don't overstress the airplane so I'm I, I don't even do I do about three and a half G's in this air show not not four and a half and the airplane you know, can do the maneuvers, but if they only can do them when they're done prop very well by a professional that's done all this before. I mean, I want to say that my experience, I don't think you could be more experienced to fly Baron than me. I've flown Bar Bonanzas for 30 years. You know, I was on the U.S. team. I was a team captain, national champion, world championships. You know, I think all that together makes me qualified to do this. But average guy in the Baron is not qualified to do this. So I want to make that. No, and that's a good point. And that's a good point with a lot of the acts that mm -hmm. we see in the air show business. These folks have trained and worked their way up to this mm -hmm. skill level and ability. And it's not like they come to Oshkosh and do it for the first time. There is yeah. practice that goes on at altitude and with training. and, and Lots lots of practice. I mean, I went and practiced this morning. You know, I, I practice every day when I go to an air show. Oh, that's uh, – we were having dinner the other day, and uh, you – how many days straight has it been? Tell her, uh, this is great. You all are going to love this. <laughs> well, it's about over 1,500 days in a row I've flown. Uh, I, last time, day I didn't fly was uh, December 31st, 2013. So I, I decided I was going to fly every day for one year. Actually, the first year I messed up. I forgot to go one day. And uh, so I had to start all over. That was about halfway through 2013. But finally, I kind of got in the groove. Once you kind of get in the groove of it, and I'm very lucky that I have a, I'm at a little airport. I have a Piper Cub. I have a, several airplanes. I fly a Piper Cub mostly, and I have a Cub on floats, which if the weather's bad, I can fly it, you know, when the weather's bad. I have Bonanza or Baron if the weather's really bad or if the wind's really blowing. I'm lucky. At not, it would be hard for the average person to do this. And then my wife says, and I don't do anything else, so... You know, so you, <laughs> kind of you have your... an amazing <laughs> wife. She's so supportive and just yeah. a, a blast to be around. And 
you know, this air show world really is a family. It is, yeah, I couldn't do it without her. She Half the time she flies around the airplane. Yeah, support she's, airplane. she's a very accomplished pilot mm -hmm. herself. So. But, uh, yeah, I, I was only going to do one year, and then I did two years, and then three. And so now this is the fifth year. I promise I'm going to stop at the end of this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think that's just an awesome story. I'm sure our members like that. And I'm sure that they're all glad that you've kind of reborn this act mm -hmm. and are bringing it back. And I think everybody's looking forward to seeing it at Oshkosh this year. So, David, thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, that's the main thing. My pleasure. Huh? And, I mean, for it's doing like. This getting to go to the Academy Awards or something, going to Oshkosh uh, <laughs> for a pilot. <laughs> it's our pleasure. You do a lot for EAA, and we're, we're mm -hmm. grateful for that. So thank well, you Well, I feel like I'm much. part of EAA after all these years. You are absolutely <laughs> part of the family for sure. Thank you. Thank you.